Uh, Europe will become a Muslim country if refugees don't go home, Dalai Lama says. Dalai Lama, who has been living as a refugee from Tibet since 1959, said he thinks only a limited number of people should be allowed to remain in their adopted countries. He told the BBC that he thought European nations should be obligated to take those in who are fleeing their home countries but need help, and they should ultimately be taught skills to return home with. When asked what would happen to anyone who wishes to stay in the country they have settled down in, he added a limited number is okay, but the whole of Europe will eventually become a Muslim country. Impossible. Or African country, also impossible. Um, he has lived in India since fleeing Lhasa 60 years ago uh, during the Tibetan uprising. So I just wanted to point something out here that the title of this says that the Dalai Lama yeah. um absolutely says that uh, Europe will become Muslim if refugees don't go home. But his actual quote was that it's impossible. And yeah, what the hell is with up with the title? Like, this is where, <laughs> what, what, what site is this? Metro.co.uk? The yeah. title is the exact opposite of what he said. Right. And, and, and what he meant by this was this is the reason why, you're, you know, whenever they go to another country and they learn skills, they need to take it home, you know, so they can help their own countries um, you know, grow and and use those same skills that they were taught in the European countries. Or he, so he's saying that Europe will never be a Muslim country. It's, at least that's what I'm reading from his quote here. He's saying impossible. Right. Impossible. Okay, so he says, well, okay, so first of all, he is saying that most Muslims and African people should go home, right? So, so he is saying that. He says that he sh most of them shouldn't stay, right? So that part is true. But the part where, the part where he supposed the title says that Europe could become Muslim. Muslim country is he's really referring to Europe as a country? Is he? He's saying he, Europe will become Muslim, Muslim meaning okay. that the majority of Europe is going to be Muslim. Okay, because I thought like that would be weird if he said that. Okay, so the part that he said that uh, Europe will become Muslim, which is in the title. Is the exact opposite of what he said. He said, like, listen, they're never going to become Muslim or African. That's impossible, but they should still go home. Why does he think they should go home? They should go home to help their own countries. Obviously, they're fleeing due to some sort of problem in their area, some sort of uh, disparity, some sort right. of discrimination. So they need to take the skills they learn in Europe and go home and make it better. Okay, and and if you click on this article, you can see that in the article. So what? Who did? Who like? What was the person that picked the title? Thinking, like, are they trying to get accusations of picking? That is some bad clickbait. That is some bad. Like, it's literally the up like the one one hundred and eighty degrees opposite of what he said. Like, you just yeah, remove the just, impossible. He said they just <laughs> took off the impossible part. Impo impossible. impossible. Yeah, I gave it. I can't. This scares me because I have said a lot of things that after that, after that, I said, like, I mean, if 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 this is mainstream media, like this is not like a blogger or like a YouTuber or something. Right. I mean, if 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 people that work in mainstream media think that they could get away with this kind of shit, like imagine what they could do with me and you are people that are not even I mean, they have done this with me, actually. Like I could basically be saying, oh, this is what Nazis believe. Oh, and then they could just then say it and then they couldn't cut the first part out and then just. I mean, it seems like they have no shame. They just put that in the title. Armin says, "Blah blah blah." See? Yeah. Um, okay, but but he, he so he but he does say some other shitty things in here. There's like okay, so th I think the the part about immigration, he's he's making he's making sense, right? Like even if he's saying that people should go back, he's actually being he's not like oh these like fucking immigrants. Go, don't you know you're ruining Europe? Go back home, right? Like he's like, no, this is it's a brain drain, right? Like right. You, you know, you come. It's good. Like immigration is good, especially if people come learn some skills and then go back and with their new skills, like they try to help their own country, bring it uh, to you know. That's a really good way way of using immigration, right? And that part makes abs everything about that in, in my mind makes absolute sense. What he's saying, right? Um, so. You know, but but the next part that what he said, th this is 
Actually, are you sure this is what he said? Because I don't trust this article anymore. I know. Right. I know, right? right. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So in, in the entirety of his quotes, when asked uh, for his wishes of whoever will succeed him as, as the Dalai Lama, he said uh, that if it's a woman that succeeds him, uh, she needs to be very attractive. Otherwise, she's not much of any use. And when challenged on his viewpoint for this, uh, he said that beauty should be just as important as brains. Um, and in quote, if a female Dalai Lama comes, then she needs, then she should be more attractive. Uh, he said that people would prefer not to see her face if she weren't. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so, so he says the, the next Dalai Lama, it's okay. So it's okay if the next Dalai Lama is a woman, but she has to be hot. Is that what, what the what the fuck? What why? I don't understand. Gotta be attractive, or else someone's <laughs> gonna want to listen to her. <laughs> well, and then he's the, he wasn't joking. Like people like like tried to make get him to clarify, and it wasn't a joke. He was like, "No, it's not just brains. It's not the most important, like not, not the only important thing. Like beauty is important." I mean, he's not. I mean, then how does he just how does he justify himself? That like does he think he's hot? Exactly. <laughs> this is so weird. This, I mean, what do you think? Like, what do you like? Is he? What the hell is that all about? I don't understand. You know, he might be speaking uh, locally on, on what he knows and what he's seen from people. Maybe his worldview is a little different, or maybe overall, uh, that's what he's noticed. <laughs> that if a woman speaks, if she's not attractive, she's not listened to. Um, and I find that to be true in some cases and not so much in the other and look at uh madeline o'hare who started who started the atheist revolution uh american atheists she was not exactly known for her beauty or inner beauty um a lot of people hated her she was the most hated germany. person in america hmm? germany like merkel right there you or, go. yeah there you go people people listen or, so. or, yeah i mean i don't know yeah I th isn't the Dal next Dalai Lama a reincarnation of himself? That's what I thought. Okay, so maybe that's just his fantasy. Maybe he just wants to be a hot woman, and he's just trying to, t like, he's just hoping that he comes next time he comes back, he's just like a hot woman. He gets to be sexy. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Yuval is saying that the title has a point, though. So even if the title is misrepresenting what the Dalai Lama is saying, Yuval is saying, demographically speaking, uh, Europe is likely to become Muslims based on birth rates. Douglas Murray pointed it out, and I once met with the priest who told me Vatican researchers reach the same conclusion. Well, I mean, that's not a... Well, the world... Europe is going to become Muslim. It's not the. It's not just Europe, Yuval. The world is becoming Muslim, Okay. Um, yeah, we're all fucked. Um, let me, I'll see. Let me ask. Atheist Republic, he is a closet trans. <laughs> I mean, if he thinks that he, yeah, I mean, if you believe in reincarnation and you're trans, maybe instead of going through surgery, you just like cross your fingers and hope that you come the right gender next time. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.